Yeah, I uh, have a bit different setup this time than my usual setup. You know, I figured since I just shot a few home videos here in the good old bed, uh, I got the lights up here, so I might as well do my unboxing video here too. Just kidding, my girlfriend's playing some horse zoo sims game. I don't know what the hell. Something like that. Some women's game. Probably adventure about periods or something. So that's why I'm forced here. What's in the box? Damn it! Hello nerds, or whatever the fuck you identify as. And it's unboxing time. And before we start the unboxing, I didn't mention this on my, uh, not last video, but video before that, where I had my new RGB lights. I have two, but now I only have one here. But still, you know, I can get this colorful background, so I look more professional. You know, to be honest, those YouTubers who always have, you know, LED lights behind here, you know, RGB shit. It was kind of seem kind of, I don't know, car salesman type-ish. I never trust those. If you have RGB lights behind you, you're probably a douchebag. And now I'm one of them, so great. Kind of fits me. Anyway, uh, unboxing time. This time we have a game that I bought because, well, there was some uh, Twitter shit going on with this game, uh, mainly because the main character has huge boobs. That's why people got so pissed, you know, so, uh, some people, very few probably. And actually, I think they sent like death threats and shit to the developers of this game and something like that. Because apparently these days, women don't have big boobs. Is that really an issue? The character has big boobs and actually looks good? Oh, I can tell you. That ain't the world I want to live in. I mean, I ain't much of a looker, but fuck it, I still enjoy boobs. I don't care if they don't let my face on TV, but damn it, I still want to see big boobs on TV. So yeah, of course I had to order this game from Play Asia, because that's the only place where uh, they had this uh, limited edition. So you know, now I'm gonna do unboxing for this. Fuck those people for complaining about boobs. You made me buy a, this game, which I wasn't even gonna buy first, but I do have to say it looks kind of interesting, so you know, it could be okay, but you know, I support boobs, so that's why. Huge boobs need support. Anyway, the game I got was Sense, which is apparently something that those people who complain about boobs is missing. Some common sense. Before we get to the actual game, I just want to show all the crap that play as I usually sense with the games, and some of this is, I don't know, what the hell this is. Play Ace I always send some extra crap, which is just kind of cool. Uh, there's Play Ace a sticker. This is uh, Play Ace a Pam Facts number three. Dead or Alive Extreme Three is the best-selling release at Play Asia, with over thirty-five thousand copies. So behind here, there's a girl holding up a sign. I guess you can draw something on the sign, whatever you want. I don't know, huge boobs. What else do they have? What the hell? They sent me a using your face mask holder. I guess you can put your face mask in this. That's there's the instructions how you use this. And this is the fucking mask holder. Ah, that's kind of cool. Play Ace and then there's picture. Fold that and I don't know. Well, you put your mask here. Great. Anyway, let's get to the game. First we have here, uh, I guess this is sticker. Sense, uh, it's the game. Then we have the game, and it's a limited edition. This game actually sounds kind of cool. Uh, it's a dystopian sci fi gets a survival horror twist. So that's kind of cool. From what I've seen, gameplay footage and shit, uh, this is apparently some sort of cyberpunk style, you know, the world, cyberpunk stylish world. Uh, point and click adventure almost? I'm not exactly sure but that's the kind of fucking picture i got oh behind here you can see uh there's two girls uh with the huge boobs and that's probably what started the whole oh i don't know people just get pissed at fucking huge boobs i don't know i'm not sure if this is made by uh 
East Asia short, 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 soft. East Asia, fuck. East Asia, soft. Uh, so I'm guessing this is Asian made game. So you know, I really dig Asian game developers. You know, they they don't listen to shit from anybody. They want to make huge boobs. They give you the finger and they make fucking huge boobs. I can appreciate that. Anyway, first thing we have here is a certificate, or yeah, certificate. Uh, discover the truth. Uh, 2,000 uh, were printed, and I got 185. And there's the girl with big hooters. That's great. Yeah. Next thing we have is soundtrack. That's great. Uh, looks kind of cool. Don't know what the music's gonna be like. Haven't heard any, so you know, I hope it's great. Um, Probably not gonna be Motorhead or anything, but eh, it could still be awesome. There's the list of tracks, original soundtrack. Ghost in cold, cold, cold. Well, there are ghosts in Asia, somewhere. Pool, sir. Haunting, Dawn in Neo Hong Kong, Streets of Neo Hong Kong, and many more. I don't wanna fucking waste your time reading all these, so you know, there. Just pause the picture if you wanna read them all. Or maybe you already read. You're some kind of super reader who reads really fast. Super nerd. I don't know. Oh, and then there is the game. And that was pretty much it. Oh, there's printed manual still. I guess it's in here. So, you know, we'll just take a look at that. There, sense. I think my lighting is a little dark here. I haven't, you know, well, I haven't shot here that many times, especially in lighting like this, so. But fuck it. Here's the background of the game. Dystopian sci fi gets a survival horror twist. Ah, that's kinda cool. Survive the horror using adventure mechanics and exploration. Unlock additional outfits, some of which alter intercations throughout the game. Interactions? Intercations? What the fuck? Keep track of the immersive lore with convenient journal feature. Discover multiple new game plus modes, alternate endings and hidden extras. Ah, that sounds cool. So yeah, yeah, if this is gonna be like point and click type adventure, this might be actually quite Good, I might actually dig this. I'm kind of worried that this is gonna be, or this is gonna have some of those visual novel shit in this. I'm not a huge fan of those. They, they're too much reading and it gets just, I don't know. Anyway, inside here we have, uh, what is this? Uh, it's the manual. It's so small, so tiny. There's controls. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's the controls. That's, that's just some other picture. Oh, I'm I'm covering the other girl. I don't want to cover those. Yeah, looking good. I do have to say that's those boobs are a fucking health risk. I mean, they're they're really big. I bet she has lots of back problems. Still wouldn't mind motivating them. Introduction. In 2083 Neo Hong Kong, a young woman named Mei Lin Mac is dragged into a maelstrom of supernatural horror. Anyway, how to play. There uh, you have the, you just pick start and then you start playing. Interact with items and NPCs on screen. So it sounds like point and click style. So, you know, I'm hoping, I'm hoping. Oh, and this is the last page. There's the apparently main character from behind. So you can't see those boobs, which is kind of shape. Uh, notes, if you want to write down some notes, well, you can write down some notes. Don't know if I'm going to need notes, but you know, you never know. Anyway, that was pretty much it. So, you know, keep complaining about boobs in games and I'll keep supporting games with boobs. Because I like boobs and I don't think boobs should be cancelled. Some are gonna have big boobs. They can't help it, you know, you gotta embrace those. Shit. Anyway, this was pretty much this unboxing, so you all know the ending here. Click like, click subscribe, click the bell, click the comments, click yourselves the fuck out of here and click yourselves back. I am sweaty as fucking hell. It's 30 degrees Celsius here and it's hot. I mean, now it's only 24. It's been a couple of days, 24, but still inside my goddamn apartment, it's 28. So yeah, I'm going to be doing a lot of sweaty videos, you know, during this summer. This kind of fucking weather keeps up. Sorry. When I upload more crap. But for now it's goodbye. And I don't know. I guess I'm gonna go check out this game and see some boobs. They look great.